Welcome everybody here to our next uh, webinar here at uh, JFD Bank and a warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well. Yeah, my name Stefan Friedrichowski as always for those kind of webinars, English webinars about JFD Invest, improve your investing experience. Today we have the 12th of September 2019, 7 o'clock p.m. as always. No. That's not correct. Not as always. The time is moving around the day over the different weeks. Uh, so uh, that is a sentence of another webinar. But anyhow, you see, um, I mix it a little bit up. But what is today's topic? JFT Invest. JFT Invest is a trading platform at uh, JFD. And that trading platform is a little bit of a social trading platform. It's a little bit of mirror or copy trading. And it's, a, to some extent, it's a digital wealth management platform. So finally, what you're doing is you, you follow trading strategies from professional traders and those trading strategies are copied into your JFT Invest account. And uh, so you participate from those trades and you can adjust your own risk settings, money allocation. So finally, it means you act as a portfolio manager, which is a quite cool job, I can tell you. So that's what is really JFT Invest about. And today I will, of course, uh, introduce you a little bit more into JFT Invest. We will talk about the highlights of uh, last week um, and some specific strategies. And finally, I will show my personal JFT Invest account as well, because now it's almost one year ago that I started uh, that, that account. So I, what I do there is exactly the same you might do, following trading strategies choosing hopefully always the right one and what kind of procedure is behind when I choose trading strategies I will show you uh, during this uh, webinar and of course we talk about uh, the top performer which is um, FX Global, no, not the FX Global, Power FX is a top performing strategy of last week. And uh, I show you directly the master account, so you will see what kind of trades are executed within that strategy and what's the logic behind that strategy. Before I finally start, okay, you know the procedure, I have to show it at least once during any webinar, the so-called risk disclaimer, describing, yeah, that we talk about um, investment, we talk about trading, we talk about trading strategies, but finally, whatever you do, you do, of course, on your own, it's your decision and your responsibility. That's quite self-explaining, hopefully, but it has to be mentioned at least once during any webinar. So let's start with uh, the highlight of uh, last week. And uh, the highlight of last week was, as already mentioned, the trading strategy PowerFX. It's uh, trading about uh, 10 different uh, Forex pairs. And uh, the logic behind is power candles. You might know a little bit about that kind of trading strategy. It's looking for huge candles and then doing the right thing next. And what is right? I show you later directly uh, in the account. Uh, then you can I can explain it uh, much better than uh, without any chart. You see overall um, quite well doing quite well um, growth over the time with that strategy. Okay, there was a quite steep growth at the very beginning, then more or less a sideways behavior. But now it's coming back uh, with quite good trades. Um, right now we have uh, three trades open. One uh, is quite nice because that is a Euro US dollar today um, because it's uh, using the momentum of uh, today, today's EZB um, interest rate decision, but that strategy is acting on a D1 
time frame. So uh, things like today are good to enter a trade, but that trade will um, will last a couple of days uh, before it finally hits take profit or stop loss. Both levels are set and nothing has changed. And that's exactly how that kind of strategy is working. You see that we have other strategies, Hyperion once again, oh, that was a high, top performer the, the week before in Gold Rush. It's more or less right now a, yeah, a, a battle between those three strategies. They seem to run quite well. Um, one week is the one is in front and the other week is the other. So it looks like three overall very good trading strategies. But now you may ask yourself, hey, let's come back to JFD and West itself. So how can I be part of that? And you see, I'm now switching to the homepage of uh, JFD. And uh, there we have a button simply investing. And then you go for JFD and West. And then you are almost directly in that trading platform, but almost. Let me first scroll down a little bit because then you, you get a glimpse of what's really going on there. Uh, because here we have the top five performing strategies overall, not last week, uh, since inception. So since the strategy has been starting, started, and you see we, we are talking about double digit growth numbers. Uh, you see that Hyperion has already doubled its account. So that's uh, um, obviously a quite profitable trading strategy. But you see some other key figures already here and you see equity balance deviation. I will introduce that a little bit later. But you see that is a little bit like a drawdown. So, yeah, so high return obviously means high risk. Okay, that's quite normal and that's um, more or less always when it comes to trading. The higher the risk, the higher the potential profit. But that already is a hint to you need your own preferences for how to select the right trading strategies. So there must be something like um, that you have real numbers, how risk affine you are. So what kind of drawdowns you would allow. And of course, a number can't be something like uh, close to zero. But that number, which drawdown is allowed for a given strategy, is already one and maybe the most important key figure for the decision which strategy I should select and which strategy I should allocate with how much money. Because the good thing is we can even go for something like um, a high risk strategy like Hyperion. Why not? If it's just a part of our overall portfolio, then it's much better. And then we can even live with drawdowns of 40% because if we do not invest a complete amount of money into that strategy, so that will scale down for to a number of, for example, 10% or even 5%. But that depends on money allocation and money distribution over those different strategies. So those are the top performing. Later, you will see that we have in total 15 strategies. But how to become part of uh, JFD West. So the procedure is quite easy. Uh, so the first thing is you press that green button, sign up, that is opening a JFD West profile. That's just registration, no money is involved uh, and uh, no charges or fees or anything. You can do it anytime. Um, it's just your email address and a given password. Then you might open a JFD West account, which is a special trading account. Even if you have a trading account at JFD, you need that special separated account. <coughs> and there are two reasons. One is uh, you should have the same conditions uh, like professional traders. So the JFD Invest account has a leverage of 1 to 100 as a professional because you follow professionals. And yeah, and the other thing which is really special, and you might not like it, uh, you can't open your own trades within that account. You can only follow those trading strategies. So you cannot open a trade uh, long on DAX, um, one lot or whatever. Finally, you connect the two and you can start following any trading strategy. Maybe 
you you would learn, first like to learn a little bit more about JFD in West, and even that you can do without a profile. If you just press the button guest access, um, then uh, you can jump into uh, JFD um, Invest, and that is a trading platform. So now you see a complete view. Um, that are 10 strategies, the other five are on the next page. Uh, and you see, once again, those key figures, inception date, so when the strategy has been started, overall return, last month's result, year to day, year to date, and equity balance deviation. And okay, let's start with Hyperion because it's a top performer here. <coughs> Sorry for that. Um, and that's just pressing the button. And then you get a lot of more detailed information about the strategy, especially statistics, performance, symbols traded, and so on and so forth. We'll start with the growth. Okay. Um, and you see already, oops, there are this ups and downs. So there are really drawdowns within that trading strategies strategy. But overall, <clears throat> within one and a half year, strategy has earned um 100 percent okay that's really good but now let's talk about equity balance deviation equity balance deviation is the difference percentage wise between equity and balance okay that's a bad explanation i know but what is balance and what is equity if you have a trading account and the, um, nothing you don't have an open trade then the two numbers equal each other but at the moment you open a trade, then um, yeah, you you have uh, my, maybe floating losses, so your trade is in profit, or you have floating losses, so your trade, your open trade is in the minus. And exactly that is equity balance deviation. That means for this strategy, there has been a time, and it was uh, September last year, there have been a minus of minus 40%. So there have been open trades. Let's say we have an account of 10K. So 5K, uh, 4K, sorry, have been in the minus. That is equity balance deviation. And you see a typical characteristic of that trading strategy is it has always about 10 to 15% floating losses. So strategy has always lots of open trades and waiting for the moment to uh, become profitable. It's a characteristic of especially that kind of trading strategy. <coughs> and the good thing is you have all the information available. So it might be part of your decision process. Maybe you say, okay, I like it. I have no uh, question about that. Um, but that is good that you have all the details here available. Let me jump back to the growth first and then go for equity once again. Okay, now you see two green lines and that's exactly the same that is balance and equity. And if equity is below balance, there are floating losses. Okay, that we learned already, but you see, oh, what has happened here in March this year? That is a drawdown. No, it's not a drawdown. It's a withdrawal, nothing else. And that even you can um, realize that is if you look for growth and equity, then you realize, okay, there hasn't been a step in the growth. So that must be a withdrawal or even a step upwards might be a deposit. So you can see things like that as well. Other things you can learn here um, is the monthly return table. Okay, a perfect green one would be ideal. And there are strategies which have that. And you can see other advanced statistics here, how many trades have been executed, average loss, average um, profit, whatever. You get it here and the, for maybe um, the most important information, what are the traded instruments? And in this case, you can see that the strategy is trading, um, yeah, almost only DAX and Dow Jones. There are other trades, yes, um, WTI oil, uh, two trades, US dollar, Japanese yen, and a couple of trades on uh, gold. 
In total, 2,000 trades or 2,100 have been executed. So good statistic behind uh, that might be um, something you, you, you want to know as well. So you have all the information and those informations should help you to, to uh, do your own review process. Let me jump into another strategy because that has been the top performer of last uh, week. And let's first uh, have a look to the statistics. So that was PowerFX and you see the same graph uh, on the email I uh, put on my screen a couple of minutes ago. And here, Let's first have a look to the traded instruments. Okay. And you see in total, uh, it's not 10, it's about 13 different instruments being traded. Um, the number of trades is close to 200. And I mentioned already, yeah, it's a D1 trading strategy. So trading um, trade duration is and now that's the other good thing about all the statistics we offer at JFT Invest. You can see the number average trade duration, 16 days. Okay, that's fine um, for such a kind of strategy. But let's have a look to equity balance deviation for this strategy as well. And now you see, okay, <coughs> that is a real totally different behavior. That strategy has almost never high floating losses. You see the highest number is even below 1%. Okay. And if you look for equity and balance in one graph, then now here, everything is the other way around. So equity is most of the time above balance because yeah, most of the trades when they are opened are in profit and not in loss. So it's exactly the opposite uh, behavior, but we have still drawdowns uh, if those trades reach, reach a stop loss. So that might uh, happen, of course, but we never will have high floating losses with that strategy. It's principle um, impossible because of the kind strategy is acting. For example, Hyperion and some other strategies even use mechanisms like um, rebuy. So they, they buy again in case of loss. This strategy, PowerFX, is doing nothing like that. When it's open, it, when, when strategy opens a trade, it has a fixed stop loss and a fixed takes profit. They are not changed and the trade comes to an end when it hits one of the bows, that's all. And for a given symbol, no new trade is opened. So it's really, um, let's call it a quite old school, but quite good strategy. I promised that I show all the details uh, about the strategy uh, in the master account. So let's jump to the master account here. Uh, that's a, <coughs> the wrong server. Let me jump to the right one. And here we go. Uh, in principle, you can see it's um, yeah, quite standard uh, MT4 um, running on a VPS. Uh, so that is a master account for this uh, trading strategy. If you even would compare um, the account number to the web page, you will find it's exactly the same, of course. And you see um, the, about 13 different charts being open, and those are the traded instruments. And as you can see, we have three trades open as we speak. Um, and the last trade being open today, uh, that was uh, yeah after the um, EZB uh, interest rate decision. And that was a long trade on Euro US dollar. Let me enlarge Euro US dollar because uh, that's a good time here to, to, to show you some more details about that trading strategy. I mentioned originally the trading strategy is looking for power candles. Power candles are big candles with a big, uh, with a huge body of a candle. Body of a candle is um, just the difference between open and close, disregarding highs and lows. So for example, uh, this one here is yeah, not that huge, but the body of the candle is uh, extremely small. <coughs> so 
the last power candle has been this one here. That was the power candle, a long one, an upwards candle. And when the day ended for that candle, that was a moment to realize, oops, we have a power candle, good. We don't have an open trade, good. We can place an order. And at that point in time, so that was six days ago, um, there has been placed by limit order exactly on that level. So you see the strategy is expecting a pushback going down close to the level of the power candle and then going back into the direction. So that is the anticipation of that trading strategy. A power candle should show the direction of the market. That the good thing is we can even wait for a pushback and then go into that direction. Okay, I know that um, looking for a single trade, that's not a good statistic, but nevertheless, at least um, that was the ongoing trade, the long trade on Euro, US dollar, is a perfect match for that strategy and how it should work. You see, during the day, <clears throat> we hit the buy limit, so therefore we opened the long trade on Euro, US dollar. And it was exactly what the strategy is anticipating, going back into the direction of the previous power candle. So, okay, it's statistic one, I know, but it's really a perfect match to explain how the strategy works and how it should work. Whether finally that trade comes to a positive end, yes or no, I have no clue and I don't, uh, I, I, honestly, I, I don't know it. But I know from the statistics about the last 14 years that this will work. A single trade I cannot predict. I can only use statistics of the past and try to use that statistic for future trades. And that's exactly what we are doing. As uh, you see, or you will see, the trade has a stop loss. And here it goes. <coughs> Here comes okay. Here we have the stop loss level, and that is one reason that we don't have high floating losses over time because we have a fixed stop loss, and uh, the stop loss level uh, is 13 euros. So that's the maximum loss we will get from that trade. And the profit, uh, let me show you that number, is close to 20 euros. Both levels will not be changed. Um, and so the trade has only two possibilities, reaching stop loss or reaching take profit. And you see the other trades are running well, uh, trade on US dollar, Swiss franc, and British pound, Australian dollar. Okay, so that is power FX. I promised that I will show up my personal uh, JFD Invest account and um, since I'm already logged in, uh, I can jump directly into that graph. And you see here, since the very beginning of my personal JFD Invest account, the performance. Okay, we have had a more than wonderful time until May this year. And then we have a couple of steps down. Okay, happen. I know that happened in the past, will happen in the future. But overall, my gross profit is close to 30%. My target has been 25 at the year end, and the year end is in 10 days. So I'm on track. Um, I've earned quite a good money with that uh, trading account. And right now, I'm following a couple of strategies. And let me show you uh, what strategies I have within my personal portfolio and you see those six Volcano Power FX, Archimedes, Balance, Neptune and Gold Rush. <coughs> you might miss Hyperion. Okay, let me show you another detail why I'm not invested in Hyperion. My overall account is 11k and if I go for Hyperion and go to the details and I have not mentioned that up to now, you will see, okay, minimum investment is 6K for that strategy. Since my account is only 
10 or now 11 and a half K account, that would be half of my account or a little bit more. Hmm. That is not in line with my approach of diversification. I would go for Hyperion, but only if my account would be in the order of, let's say, uh, 30K, because then the 6K would be one fifth of my overall account. And then drawdowns of 40% within the sub portion would be okay with me. But to have more than half of my money into that strategy, no, that's not in line with my diversified approach. And that's the reason why I'm not invested in Hyperion. But you see, Power FX is in my portfolio and uh, Gold Rush as well. And those are the ones uh, which are really doing a good job over the last couple of weeks. So <clears throat> that's my personal money allocation. And um, you see what's really possible with uh, JFD Invest and what you might and hopefully you achieve uh, similar results or even better. And I wish you that. But the key is always diversification. And the other key is find the right strategy for your personal preferences. There's not a single way I can recommend. The only thing I can recommend is dive into those strategies, dive into those statistics that you really find those ones who match to your preferences because only then you feel right. For example, if you just look for performance and if that is the one and only key figure, okay, okay, then you put everything in Hyperion, nothing else. If you have more diversified preferences, then you create your own portfolio. And that's a cool thing about JFD Invest because that is something you can do uh, wherever you are at any time. And that means what I do here is exactly what you can do even on vacation, even at a beach. The only thing is you need access to the internet and then you can change manual allocation, everything. And that it is that easy, let me demonstrate at least virtually. For example, if you would like to stop Strategy Vulcano, okay, let's go for action. Stop allocation and it stopped. Hey, that's cool. You can do it wherever you are. And the other good thing is you don't have to use any external computer, uh, server or expert advisors. Everything is done directly at JFD server. And um, the only thing you have to do is do the job as a portfolio manager, which I mentioned already is a quite cool job. Okay, that's for today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let's see where we are next week. Um, there will be a webinar. I forgot the date, but it will be yeah maybe Friday next week. I'm not sure, but you will find on the web page of um, JFD, and you will find also recordings of those webinars on the JFD YouTube channel. Uh, it will be about uh, ten o'clock in the morning at least. Um, up in time that you'll find the recording of today on the YouTube channel and you will find recordings of a lot of other webinars, quite interesting ones on that YouTube channel as well. Okay, that's for now. Enjoy the evening, enjoy the day and see you back hopefully next week. Bye-bye.